All right, it's Rob and me back. Back with another season for our trapping adventures. Actually, it's our first season retired. Hey, we kind of started last season. All right, this is going to be a very, we have a lot of raccoon. We're at an old bear bait station. Um, lots of big coons coming in, so we're going to set up a couple sets for them. First one's just going to be a basic bucket set. Five gallon bucket. It's got an old stake in the bottom of it. Uh, they've been coming here every night regularly anyway, so I'm not really too worried about them not finding it. What you want to do is make sure that it ain't going to wobble a whole lot. I'll try to put this log on it so it's pretty fun so the raccoon can't knock the bucket around clear it out a little bit. Um, a lot of guys like to throw leaves and stuff at the bottom to make it look natural. That's a good idea. Um, if you're going to do it, do it all the way though. Um, don't just kind of halfway do it and fill it. Make sure it's pretty well covered in on the bottom in there. So it's natural for them. Like that. And take a stake in the back. Um, you take a simple 220. Um, got these died up about a week ago. When you set it, you want to make sure that the dogs or the uh, safety hooks on the springs are on top so that way if it goes off well, in the process of you setting it or whatever, um, it won't snap you. I'm not worried about scent for raccoons, so that's why I'm not wearing gloves. Um, I like to have my triggers um, all the way over to one side, and I know a lot of guys like to. Um, put the dogs on the bottom or whatever, but to me, not really that big of a deal, but that's just me personally because the safety hooks are always up that way unless you go back and switch your hooks up, but pull the hooks out all the way so in case it does go off, it catches like that, pull them out, stick, stick it in, bend it up so it's, so it's kind of somewhat sturdy in there. Um, then once you get to make sure it's right in the right where you want it to go, then, then that's when you start taking your safety hooks off. Just like that. Pull it up so it's nice and firm in there. Then you're gonna need to wire it. Because um, the coon will, especially the big ones that we got coming in here, it's not gonna, it's gonna whap them pretty good, but it ain't gonna do them in right away. What kind of wire is that, Rob? Just like general purpose? 14 gauge wire. I don't know what it is. I have a trapping convention. That's where I always get it. And you just got to find some something heavy, um, a log to wire it to, or a drag or something like that. I'm just going to take it. One of these old logs here. Just going to set it up. Is it raining out? Yeah, slightly. Okay. Down here. We don't want to wire it wimpy, just to make sure. Wrap it just once and then give it a few good turns overs and then I come down here. You want to make sure you can you wire it good to the log so that. It can't roll off real easy. Like, okay, then once you get that, wrap that around a few times. Just like so. Then, then you set up, and then what I do is you don't, honestly, this is good enough, but just kind of stake it off so they can't come in from the sides or anything like that. Something like that. And since we have lots of leaves, I'm just going to throw leaves on the side of it in here. Just to make everything look a little bit more natural. No, not just natural, just to funnel them in. Just make sure they don't go on top of it or anything like that and try messing around. Or Since I know that they're here, I don't want them to get trapped. I want to catch them the first time. And then... yep. Safety hooks are off. It's baited. Cool. And then, I don't have any raccoon lure with me right now. What I'm using is Hudson muskrat lure um it's just got a sweet smell to it and uh raccoons like anything sweet doesn't they don't care what labels on if it's muskrat lure or whatever is there any particular brand of lures you prefer nope 
You just kind of use everything? I like Hudson, or um, Carmen's, which this is for muskrat. And I'm just going to throw that in the back there. And That's a good bucket set.